During the Second World War, thousands of top-secret operations were conducted on both sides. Their aim, to defeat the enemy and win the war. No plan, however, was so bold and daring as that conceived by the British in 1941, centred on the British colony of Gibraltar. A plan so secret and terrifying that it would take a special breed of men to successfully see it through. A plan so shocking that it wasn't until 53 years after the war had finished that the plan was accidentally discovered and the pieces of this operation would slowly be unearthed, including its name, Operation Tracer. If Operation Felix had been activated and Gibraltar captured by the Germans, the British would consequently activate Operation Tracer and this plan would then be set in motion. The plan consisted of entombing six men inside a secret chamber in the heart of the Rock of Gibraltar for an indefinite period of time with just one simple goal, to spy on the Germans and radio their findings to London every night without getting caught. These brave men from the Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve would have provisions to last them for one year, and they knew that if discovered by the enemy, they would be shot as spies. A psychological game of cat and mouse would commence, with deadly and fatal consequences if exposed. The last remaining survivor of this operation, Surgeon Lieutenant Dr. Bruce Cooper, exclusively tells his amazing story to our cameras for the first and only time in his life. And it's thanks to this missing information that we can now reveal the truth behind the commonly known Stay Behind Cave. From the producer of Operation Felix comes this amazing top secret story, brought to the screen in complete detail for the first time in history, and shot inside the Rock of Gibraltar using 3D computer animated graphics to recreate what this secret operation space would have been like in order to unravel the truth behind this complex operation and honour those who laid their lives on the line and were prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice in the name of freedom, using the Rock of Gibraltar as a modern day Trojan horse. And if the Germans were honourable gentlemen, I would have been all right. But I realised that the Germans may not have been ordinary gentlemen, and that if I was a spy, they would have shot me. <laughs>